you all must have come across sign language somewhere or the other you may have seen it in movies or on tv shows our school actually has its own version of sign language through this presentation i want to give you a basic idea of this language but firstly what is a language by definition a language is the method of human communication either spoken or written consisting of the use of words in a structured and conventional way each language each language has its own script uh, uh, so the words which are being spoken can be put down on paper but sign language is neither spoken nor written then how come is it still a language this is because it fulfills the purpose of a language the purpose of any language is to communicate information from one person to another in non impaired people the information is communicated because we are able to store in our brains the associations between the symbols and sounds of a language and their meanings this information is received both visually and auditorily however due to being impaired the deaf community must rely upon communication methods which are visual now moving on to the language itself i point out the differences between a natural language and sign language we all know a sequence of letters makes a word which has a certain meaning and pronunciation for example the word good is the sequence of four letters g o o and d it has the it it means something of a favorable character but however in sign language sign language has a different gesture for this word altogether it's not simply spelled out using the alphabets of sign language then there are phrases a few words put together form a phrase which has its which has a meaning of it on for example good morning when you put the word good and morning together you get the phrase good morning which is a greeting similarly in sign language gestures done one after the other have a compound meaning so the first part of this sign indicates good and the second one stands for morning so when done together there is a greeting good morning that was about words and short phrases now moving on to sentences a simple sentence has a subject object and a verb the sequence of which uh, differs from language to language the sequence the sequence in english is subject verb object Uh, so in this case in this example i'm going to the library i is the subject going is the verb and library is the object so you understand that the person saying this is going to something or some place called the library it's a little different in sign language while doing the gestures the object in the sentence comes first followed by the subject and at last the verb so in this case library is the object i is the subject and going is the verb so if this sentence was to be written down it would be library i go note that words like am the to is these words are not included in the sentence now let's look at how gestures are made to express the meanings of the word the meaning of the words a good way of making this clear is by looking at homonyms homonyms are words with the same spelling but different meanings 
so let's check the word fire fire can be used in it can be used in three ways first as in fire at the target which means shooting the second one the building is on fire which means burning of something and you are fired uh, you are fired as in being removed from a job being axed from a job so these are the three ways it can be used but even though the the word itself is the same in all three the context in which it's being used makes the meaning of the word clear but in sign language each one of these meanings has a different sign they mean they more or less resemble the physical occurrence in the first case the meaning of fire is shooting so the gesture is of a gun shooting in the second in the second example the building is on fire fire means burning so the gesture resembles the flames caused by the fire and at last the meaning of fire in you are fired is getting kicked out that suggests that you are being axed so the gesture suggests something getting axed getting chopped off etc these associations between words and gestures are not same globally we know that modern languages are derived from a more ancient ones like hindi is derived from sanskrit sign languages are also derived from other sign languages for example american sign language the asl is derived from the french sign language the sign languages change and vary as per change in the region uh, uh, so this is the map of the various sign languages across the world apart from acting as a mode of communication among the hearing impaired it also serves as a tool to deliver the information which has been spoken by another person this is done by non impaired people who know sign language and act as the translators or interpreters they're seen on news channels they're seen at speeches concerts etc so here are a few example clips world health day is being observed today the objective of the day is to disseminate knowledge and awareness about human health wherever this storm comes ashore however our city is very likely to feel its effects in the form of high tides high wind high winds and heavy rainfall lasting for several days you might think who else could possibly be using sign language you might be surprised to know that even animals are taught sign language you might be surprised to know that animals have also learned sign language ethologists the scientists who study animal behavior have been trying to teach non human species non human and apes sign language and they have succeeded in a few cases but it's only at the very rudim- rudimentary level hollywood however has exaggerated the use of sign language by animals and made multiple movies on it namely rise of the planet of the apes uh, dawn of the planet of the apes and war of the planet of the apes while watching this keep in mind that such advanced language skills are not possible in non human apes <laughs> sun rises you'll all be on your way to a 
a new home. Hurry, you must go. In conclusion, let me share two such examples of apes who have learned sign language. This is a, a female this is a female common chimpanzee named Washo. In 1965, she became the first non-human animal to learn and communicate in sign language. She was taught, she was actually taught a variation of American sign language. More, more. Open, hurry. Open. Open, hurry. Open, hurry. Open. 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 Good, 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 me. Yes, you're very good. Good, go. Good, go. Where? You? Peekaboo, out. Me. Oh, play hide, peekaboo. Okay. Come, good Washo. Come with me. Coco was a female western lowland gorilla. She died two years back on 19th of June 2018 at the age of 47. <laughs> stubborn uh very willful finish you are not finished you are not you are not finished you didn't on behalf of her endangered species over the next months and years coco's vocabulary grew to over 200 signs coco was making unprecedented strides and national news Penny was happy to report the little five-year-old could not only talk, but was redefining our concept of gorilla intelligence. So I thank you all for attending this uh, assembly. And I would like to give the credits for this assembly too.